What is up guys, I'm back once again with yet another video. As you guys can see, I have a 49cc moped, which is petrol, it's not electric or anything like that. Um, I just want to show you guys um, the steps I have done to get this thing going again. Um, about two years ago, I got this from a good old friend for free. He didn't really want it anymore. Um, apparently, one morning when he tried to start it, it just wouldn't start. So, um, he couldn't really be bothered in like troubleshooting and all that kind of stuff so he basically just gave it to me and uh, it's been shitting, sitting in the shed ever since and um, I finally got it out and had a look at it and um, I'm just going to show you guys the steps I did of troubleshooting it and finding what the problem was so at the start I took the spark plug out you can obviously get to that by looking under here you've got the spark plug connector and you pull this off and then you've got your spark plug you can twist that out with a wrench or something and um, you want to pull it out over here connect this uh, connecting wire and short it against the frame the um, the tip of the spark plug and if you do not see a spark when you crank it over then that is a problem um, another thing to look out for is compression um, one thing you can do is obviously put the spark plug back in, uh, crank the engine over with the electric start or even the, um, the manual start. If you feel like a lot of resistance then compression is not a problem. Um, also fuel, you want to check you've got fuel in there and the fuel is actually getting to the carburetor. And yeah, so um, an uncommon fault could also be this um, kill switch. If this kill switch is corroded inside, um, these terminals can actually short out the connections. And basically how a kill switch works is it shorts out the spark so it can no longer spark anymore and then that kills the engine. So if that is corroded, that could be the problem. And I think that was the problem with me. So I've disconnected the cord so this no longer does anything. And now the spark is free to um, ignite the fuel so um, I mean that's pretty much it you've also got the CDI box and this CDI coil um, I think that's what you call it but yeah you can also you look for those you can put multimeters on those to check the resistance um, I just changed the whole um, coil and it still didn't start so obviously that wasn't the problem and yeah so that is pretty much it I'm going to start it now also, it has 17,555 kilometers on it, which is quite a bit for a moped, but I did get it for free and it seems to be working pretty nice. So, um, obviously, you want to put the key in. There we go. Focus that. Twist. The oil light does flash and then goes off. I'm not sure what that is about. I've checked the oil and it seems fine. But uh, anyway, hold the brake. Need to rev it a bit sometimes. So this is a cold start, so it's going to take a while to warm up. You can see the fuel gauge isn't working. So that's obviously an electrical issue. I'll just turn that off but uh yeah um when you do get riding it it does idle really nicely um i hope this helped you guys um finding the problem with having no spark or the engine just not starting in general please give a like and subscribe for more videos like this and um thanks for watching